yeah, we have started um, with, with the roots, and if you can see nature, where it is actually under the ground where, where um, development or germination is, is starting to, to happen. Um, so we thought like the roots is also like uh, the communities um, or the countries represented in in, in Palka, like Tanzania, Kenya, South Africa, and all of the other African countries um, yeah, that will also be part of Palka. And um, the notes that you see here is also a way of organizing gatherings where um, knowledge can be exchanged through music, so yeah. the idea with the music is, I guess, you know, what we said before is that, uh, you know, this needs to be a people's, people's led movement. Um, so all we can really do is, is come up with a structure that will make that possible. And how can we actually make that possible? So, yeah, we, we can only create the skeleton. It's the people in those communities. They're going to bring the fat, they're going to bring the meat. Mm. How can we do that? And music <coughs> is a great way to do that, you know? Indigenous communities, we all um, have a strong connection to music. The idea of maybe um, hosting gatherings in all these countries where people can come mm. and share through festival mm. and um, gatherings and music, we can actually talk about the bigger issues of, of what we're talking about here and actually start putting you know, the, the meat and the fat to the bones, so to speak. It is a network whereby it is goes to other people, to other people, to bring people uh, together for solidarity purposes. Mm. Mm. We can see gra green uh, grass. This is the youth, because the youth need to be uh, brought up so that they can be powerful and can also have their voices. So we see up there, there is some yellow substance and white substance that is coming out, that is power, that is coming to these people, empowering them to be able to speak their voices. So when they get that power from above, now they can be able to support them to grow. Because now this is a big tree, and also for the big tree to be, it will need the backup. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, there are also indigenous communities. We have to come together because this this voice cannot happen without the other voices and different communities. So we have to come together so that this one can happen. And also the gender. We <coughs> both women and women for this movement to succeed. Because one gender and women for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> men and women. Because men cannot work alone and women cannot work alone. Mm. We have to bring all the voices together so that it can that you can move. The cultivation, we are cultivating the culture. So we have to get everything that is nutritious, that is that can make the everything on the ground to grow, and the grassroots to grow, so that everything can get the fertilizer to grow and nourish. Now, in the center, this is where the fire is coming from. The stomach is what is weighing everything and digesting everything. And through the stomach, it can go to all parts of the body. And from there, when the fire is burning, it can spread all over. Now, we are, we are spreading our hands, welcoming everybody to come, all the indigenous communities across the borders, to come inside, to join our hands together, so that we can protect our rights, our land rights, our languages, and our people. Because even people need to be protected. Mm. And uh, also to share. We are sharing what we have with our people. Those who have, it is, this movement, it is a one person group. But now it is becoming, <laughs> it cannot happen with one person. But if we come together, it will automatically prosper and expand. We also need indigenous knowledge here. 
like we have been talking about it, we have to use indigenous knowledge so that we can prosper in whatever that we want to do. Because we cannot use other people's knowledge. We cannot use the government knowledge. We have to use our own knowledge because we have it. And we have to put it in action. The eyes represent TV. We cannot do without a camera because it is processable. That. Even if we have not got this gathering, but when we, myself, as a Muslim community, can take a TV movie and put it to Twitter and then everybody worldwide will see what I'm doing. And many people will be changed through the TV. Information, we have to get information. And through this umbrella, because it's an umbrella, it's a network. If the head of the organization or the umbrella get information concerning uh, the communities, the indigenous communities, it will go faster. Mm -hmm. And all the communities through the network will be updated of, of what is going on in the grassroots or whenever that they are, they are needed to get that information. Yeah, and the heart is red. Yeah, it is burning, but it is well coming. Mm. This is where we need to start our cure. And our cure will come from the heart. Mm. And when we cure the heart, everything will be cured. Mm. <laughs> There's going to be challenges. We're going to have growing pains, you know? Yeah. It's going to happen, you know, whether we like it or not. How do we actually create a space to deal with that, you know? The idea of just putting the fire in the center, coming, coming around the fire, you know, to, to work things out, you know, to always bring it back to the fire, um, to do that. This idea of, okay, if indigenous communities, if what we are saying is that we protect biodiversity, we keep it healthy, you know, um, we need to somehow prove it. You know, how do we document that? You know? mm -hmm. If any, everything we do, we create these arms out stretch and we, we're creating this, this nourishing back into the roots, into the soil that we've created. Um, that means we need to document it. Mm -hmm. We need to document what's going on on the land. We need to prove that the way indigenous cultures live is beneficial. So how do we do that? So these questions are coming out, you know. How can we, you know, we can, can obviously do it through PV, but this is, uh, you know, with good planning, these are things that we need to think about from the very beginning. Yeah, and also we have the voice here, I have forgotten. We come together to have a voice, because when one person speaks, we cannot be heard. But when we come together and speak together, then our voice will go far and wide. And the spirit will be more on fire. So we have to come together to speak, so that we can get one voice which will protect as, as a, an indigenous community. Mm. Mm. Okay. We, we thought the first step is trying to do some mapping, understanding where the indigenous peoples in Africa are. What is a, it's a baseline study to understand exactly who is where, who is completely broken, who is still having some culture, who you need what, but uh, just to understand where they are and to get a map of Africa, where these communities are. And then uh, yes. after that, uh, that mapping will help us to, to finalize the conceptual, conceptual, concept, conceptualization of Talca, uh, where we will also do some consultation with people about the concept. Is really uh, a draft concept? Sorry? Is there really a draft concept? Yeah, there's, there's a skeleton of a, mm. an imaginary sort of thing. <coughs> and then uh, we, after we've done that, we will try to identify the focal persons at each community. Whether there's a indigenous people-led organization, or an indigenous community world, or in a community where they, they don't exist, we will try to get a focal person right from, from the... Mm. To, to, to facilitate uh, engagement. And then uh, after that, we do some engagement, engaging in terms of knowing exactly beyond just knowing where they are, to understand the status of each community. And uh, then from there, we will be able to, to put up the constitution for uh, that is reflecting on the realities and issues from different communities. And then uh, 
from there we will try to design the program that is uh, also emanating from consultation and engagement. Um, after that, we put up a governance framework. Um, based on the traditional system? Yeah, based on the traditional system. And this is where we think we will need a lot of wisdom from our ancestors. Mm. Yeah, we need to, to do a, a beyond feasible consultation. We need to consult our ancestors because uh, we would like as much as possible. Indigenous communities are very different. Mm. And we would like to, to reflect that difference, even in Malta. And then uh, after that, we will register Malta. Uh, and then after registration, we seek for technical and material support to be able to develop uh, media and communication uh, mechanism. We, we understand and know that there's a lot of diversity in terms of where the people are, accessibility, what is the best way to communicate. And then uh, the last, the second last activity will be identifying, select the coordinator office. Somebody will be, maybe we'll try to get a name, a different one. Direct, I, at least a director is not, <laughs> at least a, maybe a connector, maybe a connector. <laughs> Or even an ambassador. Ambassador. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody really, like, it's not a special person being there as a director, but feeling part of these people. Okay, after that, we will, we will do the launching for that yeah. This is maybe in the next uh, March or February. Uh, this is what we think might happen. And when it comes to barriers, one is accessibility. Some of the indigenous communities are still in the forest. Some of them are in the rural part of this continent. Some of them are so much isolated, they don't have the communication. So we foresee accessibility being one of the barriers, but we will uh, try to deal with it. And then uh, another thing is legal framework, different from country to country. They're not sure whether people, yeah. We foresee also a challenge of laws and even whether the people identify themselves as a group. Some people have been assimilated so much that they don't understand where to start identifying themselves. And then also another barrier might be technology, which is related to communication. Another one is conflict in some communities. In Northern Kenya, for instance, yeah. there will be a lot of uh, differences and we are thinking around the spirit of coming together. Maybe we need to to manage the conflict before we think of, of this level of interaction. Conflict. And then also resistance, trust. Some in, in indigenous communities are very, very hostile. They don't want, if you ask him, where have you been? Oh, why, 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 why do you need this information? Yeah. Um, this will help us to understand and know who is where. So we see that process as an important uh, best line to start assessing the status of indigenous communities in Africa. A program for Palka that reflect on the realities of issues affecting indigenous people. Thank you. Thank you. With three uh, values and we will present them to you in, uh, in a short little play using statue theater. The first value that we're going to present is the respect of our indigenous cultures and also the respect of our traditional leadership. second value is that in love there shall be unity and solidarity.
And the third value is the conservation of the flora and the fauna. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Rama Queen